Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. While we're waiting for the countertops and the sinks to be installed, we have another week, week and a half. I've been catching up on a lot of little things that I have been putting off, like grouting, some grouting, some uh, painting, touch-up painting, and caulking here and there and other little incidentals. I also want to address today how I'm going to install the fresh air intake louver on the outside for the uh, circulation air underneath the Roman tub. And so I purchased a while ago a 12 by 12 aluminum grill. Okay, it's a nice louver. It also has a wider screen in the back for the roads and stuff like that. But I'm also going to incorporate a regular screen over this, a metal screen over this for little tiny bugs. So we're gonna go outside right now, open up and take off that plastic uh, grill and uh, look inside. The opening's not really level or square, so I have to see what I have to do with that, whether I have to build an uh, inch and a half by inch and a half aluminum angle frame or a sheet metal collar. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do this yet, so until I open up and investigate it, um, I really won't come to any conclusion right now, but uh, we'll check it out. So I think what I'm going to do is it's, uh, make fabricate an inch and a half, an inch and a half by inch and a half aluminum angle frame, and it'll go around here and cover up this mess. I'm trying to make sure that I get all the stuff off here so it lays flush against there. I'm probably going to have to cork the outside of the angle frame when I'm finished, but I'll, and I can also install it and um, drill the holes in and put um, you know uh, concrete uh, screws in here, just just a couple of them, maybe maybe. Uh, two on each side and that'll hold that in and then what I can do is when I put the louver in I can screw probably drill, uh, I'll only need two like one here and one here that's all you need really um, I pre-drill it and pre-drill the angle iron the aluminum angle and then drill screw it into that on the side here no face frame screws but like on the side here and here with a drill bit with an extension on it because I can't get my drill chuck in here but I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So I, I just want to measure this more accurately so I can write it down and know exactly what I need to get. All right, so the um, inch and a half by inch and a half aluminum angle, I'm making out the frame, uh, will be 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter inside dimension. So if you, inside the opening, 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter with the inch and a half flange outside, right? I'm going to make, I'm going to miter the corners. They're probably not going to be perfect, but that's okay. I'll get some silver uh, silicone or something like that. They'll be close. Um, you know, I don't have a break with me. I don't have a shop set up. I don't have uh, I don't have a working table. So this is what I'm doing. But uh, so that's the story with that. So you're gonna, you're gonna see how I how I fabricate this now. like the top let's say for example and you know this is in these are the tabs that I'll screw to uh, the frame I'll do the same thing for the I'll make the same thing for the bottom and the two sides won't have this tab on it okay I'm doing the best I can without equipment so 
It is what it is. These two lines I just scribed here are my cut lines. So I'm just going to cut that off on that line. By doing this, I'm allowed, I'm able to get my bulldogs in there to cut this back, this tab back. If I didn't do this, I would never be able to get the bulldogs back there. So I just try to bend as much of it out of the way as I can. I use the dolly bar to dress it all up because it's 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 actually not right. We have the bottom or top and that this is what we have now I have to make the two sides without the uh, without the um, tabs okay this should also be 12 and a quarter it is 12 and a quarter now it's within an eighth of an inch so or 16 it's within a sixteenth of an inch you know, under, under normal conditions, they would be right on the money, but um, it is what it is. So I have to do the other two and we're ready to put it together. Okay, we have all four, now we have to put them together. And they're gonna go together like this. I have to figure out whether I'm gonna put the tab inside or outside, I'm not really sure yet.
So it looks like I'm gonna to have to secure this side first. I'll put one, one bolt in here and then I'll have to level it and lift this up. There is room to play here. Right on the money. Right on the money, okay. Now we can install a louver. All right, guys, that concludes this episode with regard to the fresh air intake louver. I mean, it worked out really well. I did have to prep the hole uh, for quite a while, about 45 minutes to get it right. Dry fitting it first, you know, with the frame and everything like that to get it perfect, but um, it's all good. Nice and level, sealed all around. Um, I will have to paint, just do a little touch of painting to match the house. And uh, that's it, so we'll see you on the next episode.